Over the past week, we've reported on two different cases in the Bay Area of children dying because of accidental shootings. And new tonight, ABC Action News reporter Anthony Hill is taking action for you with ways you can protect your children if you have legal guns at home. Nobody wants to see a kid hurt anyway for him. Um, so when we see things like that, you know, it, it does stand out. Two children, one in Bradenton and the other in St. Petersburg, now dead because of accidental shootings in the home. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office saying it was an accidental shooting when a 15 year old shot his 16 year old friend in the head. Meanwhile, across the bay, the St. Petersburg Police Department telling us this evening that they're still investigating how that nine year old boy who shot himself last Friday got the gun in the first place. Investigators tell us the gun was reported stolen before the shooting. The owner lives in the same building. All of this as a national discussion about gun safety continues. I have kids of my own and just letting them know, like, hey, you know, this is no, 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 we don't touch this. Sergeant Anthony Ali with the St. Pete Police Department says parents should start having conversations with their children about gun safety as early as possible. Sometimes you have to bring it down to the kid's level. Um, as kids progress and they get older, teenagers, you know, explain to them the dangers of it and let them know, you know, what what to do, what not to do with it. St. Pete police urges parents to do three things in order to protect their children around guns. Number one, uh, it's not a toy. Make sure we emphasize that to the kids. Uh, number two, I would say always treat a firearm as if it's loaded. Um, if you take the magazine out of it and you think you cleared the gun, still treat it as if it's loaded. Um, it should be pointed at anyone left unattended on a table anywhere, especially where kids have access to it. And number three, um, play scenarios out for your kids. Let them know, hey, if you go to your friend's house and you see this on the table, what are you going to do? Florida law requires you to store your gun in a locked box container or use a trigger lock if you know that a minor under the age of 16 can gain access to it. In Tampa, I'm Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.